Hello, hello everyone, Sire here. Thank you so much for joining me for another unboxing of a Buttons Galore and More subscription box. I am not sure what's inside it. I have not taken a peek. I've only just ripped the box open so it's ready to record. I did use my last month's or last release a bit actually, so I will show that at the end of the video. But for the beginning, let's see what's inside this box. So we'll just open this up. And we got an invoice. You don't need to see that. So this looks like it's going to be a summer sun and surf subscription box. And there's everything that's in the box. And I will move this to the side so that we can look at it together. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, not bad. Ooh. <laughs> this is looking good. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Okay. I am going to just randomly pick one and show it. So we got to start off with the first one. This is a box exclusive. And we have buttons. There we go. So it's a bunch of different size buttons. Um, they kind of have an autumn, I would say, not autumn, sorry, um, August type feel to them, you know, where things are starting to ripen, they're in the fields. Um, that's, this one almost looks gold, but it's not. And the camera, it shines like it is. That's kind of pretty. Actually, yeah, the one side it's not, and the other side has this shiny, oh, that's pretty unfortunate, you... You'd glue that side so you wouldn't see it. Got a really big button here. Some have textures. This one says Jeer Spirit. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a company or if it's just something just to make it look like it's a real company or a real button. It's kind of fun. Yeah. A bunch of different sizes, different colors. You got a purples. Yeah, I'm getting a real late summer vibe to this one. I like this. That's a lot of buttons. Okay, next we have, looks like a sequence mix. This is also a box exclusive. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, it's a good mix. There's some fish in here. We have dolphins and little sprinkles. The sprinkles seem to be all blue. Not sure what that, oh, that's a fish. And then we have a whole bunch of other little doodads little shapes there's seed beads and little shiny gems and it's a nice little mixture here of different elements like it's not just clay polymer or it's not just sprinkles or the same thing in different colors it's a nice mixture there and it has sparkle and shine and it sounds nice if you were to shake it Okay, next we will go to another little sequence. So here we go. So we have seashells and pearlescent ones, and these are more of the green tones. So they have different colors and sizes of green sequence. And this is it's a nice color mixture. Yeah, got a nice little shake there. And that would also make a really nice sequence or a shaker card i wonder when they decide it's going to go in a bottle or a bag because <laughs> i'm not sure the difference between this and that like why not that it matters i'm just curious about their packaging okay next we have this orange organza bag filled with little fish themed no beach themed might be more appropriate elements there we go. So we have a seashell. The sailboat's really cute. This looks like a surfboard. There's another pink shell. Two seahorses. A starfish, which has nice detail to it. And two dolphin. Yeah, those are pretty cute. So... We have those. So definitely got the beach theme, the fish theme. What's next? We have some flat... <laughs> These are so cute. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this one with its puckered lips. Oh, hold on. <laughs> this one caught me off surprise. I love these. These are absolutely adorable. I can't, I don't want to take them out of the package because they're going to get lost. But there's even an alligator back here. Oh my goodness. These are precious. These are well worth just the laugh I got looking at these is well worth this box. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so you have these nice flat back. It's almost frosted type fish. And then the alligator in the back there. Really, really cute. I love these. These are so far the winner in this box. Absolutely precious and lovely. Okay, the next we have, ooh, we have some more starfish. So this one looks very similar to the one that's in this organzo bag. But we now have a gray one and a blue one. These are really nice. They have a little bit of texture. I'm trying to get that on the camera. A little bit of texture, see that? Yeah, those are really cool. And the, I like the colors. Those are nice colors. Then we have a uh, little mermaid button. So these are not flat back. And they come in a variety of colors of hair and bodies. So we have pink and brown. We have a pink and, and a blonde. Looks like a blue and a redhead and blue and brunettes. Those are cute. You just have to snip those off. I found that um, when I snip these particular ones off, it actually does fall apart. But all I had to do was just add some glue. I used hot glue gun because there's no messing around. Um, but I'm sure any strong glue would work. You just, I just filled it in the hole and then pushed everything back in and then nothing fell out. And then the last item, these are going to match this one quite well so you can create a shaker cart and add these little bobbles embellishments i can't remember what they're called but these come in not just the green but also some blue there we go so we have they have a little bit of metallic shimmer to them and the dark blue ones are pretty Pretty shiny. And you got, it looks like it might be two colors of blue, but this is definitely matching quite well with this one. Once again, I'm always curious about the packaging because um, they could they could have put everything in these little plastic things, but maybe it's just uh, to make it feel more fun. I'm not sure, but there we go. This is what we got in the Sun and Surf subscription box lots of lots of fun this is going to be great for any summer project um especially these fish i need to use these fish these are just perfect for me i love that so now i'll put this away and we'll just show you or i'll show you what i created last subscription box I wasn't too much but I'll just show you what I had created. So this was um, so this was one of my craft roulette cards, and pretty much all I did was I used a little gem there. <laughs> but it works. It's it has a little bit of shine, you know. But so that that's not too impressive. And then I created this one. This is a Kendra Card Challenge 15 sketch. This is number 15, actually, the sketch 15. And it makes a, a blouse. And so I used those really pretty flowers as the buttons and then some of the gems to try to create a necklace. <laughs> I could have added more, but I didn't know if it would be too much. Uh, so I kind of wanted to space it out. So that was kind of a fun card that's quite that use quite a bit of product compared to this one and then i started getting around just drawing and having fun so i started off drawing with this one i just created a little pot 
and then glued on. This is where I found out that the centers popped out when I cut the backs on. Um, so I just glued everything and then it stuck it back in. But simple drawing um, and then added some flowers to it. So you can easily make this into a card. This is just a simple, simple card. Just had him at it. And I did a couple other doodles here. Um, there's one where he's trying to catch <laughs> whatever these are, like maybe little fairies or maybe they're just little gems in the trees. So I was just practicing doodling with these. And then that made me inspired to create another version where they're actually fairies. And this one, you it's off center, so you can easily just trim that down if you wanted to make another card out of that. So everything's nice and centered. And then the last one I created was a more fantasy, um, bring a little gem to the lady stuck in the tower. <laughs> kind of like Rapunzel, but her hair's not as long as Rapunzel, but that was the inspiration. Uh, just focusing on some doodles. I think that's all I created with it. I could be wrong. But I think this is pretty good. This was actually forcing me to just have fun and doodle. I didn't, so I don't know if I would say I used a lot of product, but I definitely used more than I did. And I just was having fun playing around and not worrying about making anything out of it, especially with these drawings. I was just having fun doodling and trying to incorporate the products. Maybe I'll do the same thing with the fish. Those fish uh, in the new box are just... <laughs> I guess still am giggling over those. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're interested in this box, I will put the information in the description box below. Um, and until the next time, have, have fun, enjoy the summer, and I will talk to you later. Bye.